Hello friends, I am your friend Manoj from Paris Adenium. Today we will talk about a plant whose name is tea plant. Today's video is based on the tea plant. In this we will tell you how you can plant. Tea plant at home and how to get beauty in your garden from it. Before starting the video, you are requested that if you like our video then you should subscribe our channel and set the bell icon to also that the notification of our other upcoming videos can reach you first as well as the video. Like and comment and tell us how you liked our video. So let's start the video on the complete introduction and care of the plant. Tea plant is a tropical broadleaf evergreen plant with colorful palm-like leaves. It can be grown as a landscape specimen in tropical climates but is more often grown as a potted house plant. The plant is beloved for its colorful, large, 1 to 2.5 feet long, fast-growing and lasting leaves. In spring, Outdoor plants may produce small six-petaled star-shaped florets on a dropping branched stem or panicle. If grown outdoors in the garden, tea plant is best planted in the spring. It is toxic to humans and pets. Common name Tea plant, good luck plant, Hawaiian tea plant. Botanical name Cordyline fruticosa, formerly Cordyline terminalis. Family Asparagaceae Plant type Shrub Mature size 2 to 10 feet tall, 3 to 4 feet wide Sun exposure Partial Soil type Well-drained, loamy Soil pH Acidic, neutral Bloom time Spring Flower color White, pink, yellow, purple Hardiness zones 10 to 12 Usda Native area Asia, Australia Toxicity Toxic to humans, toxic to pets tea plant care Here are the main care requirements for growing a tea plant. For outdoors, select a location with limited direct sunlight or filtered sunlight. Indoors, put the plant in a spot with plenty of bright indirect light. Plant it in soil that contains plenty of organic matter, is slightly acidic and well-drained. Keep the soil moist but not saturated and water accordingly. Avoid prolonged exposure to temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Fertilize outdoor plants with a complete balanced fertilizer once in the spring and potted plants monthly. Prune the plant as needed to keep it looking at its best or control the height of indoor plants. Light Getting the light exposure right with tea plant is a little tricky. Full sun provides the best leaf color, but too much direct hot sunlight causes browning of the tips and margins. Tea plant is considered a full sun specimen, 6 hours or more per day, but when grown outdoors, it will benefit from being shaded during the hottest hours of the afternoon. It can, however, see a, tolerate a location with bright filtered light for the entire day. In low light conditions, these plants may lose some of their bright color and become greener. When grown indoors, give the plant as much bright indirect light as possible. Soil The plants prefer slightly acidic soil, that is fertile and well-drained. Sandy or loamy soil with plenty of organic matter works well. Avoid wet or hard clay and sites with salt spray. Water As a garden plant, the plant grows best in soil that is kept moist but not constantly saturated. When there is not sufficient rainfall, water deeply about twice a week, about one inch of water in total. Water at the soil level to keep the foliage dry. In fall and winter, water more sparingly, once every two weeks is usually sufficient. Cover the area around the plant with a 2 to 6 inch deep layer of mulch, 4 inches from the trunk's base. 
when watering potted plants, wait for the top inch of soil to dry out, then water deeply until water runs out the drainage holes in the pot. Watering once a week is usually sufficient for potted plants. These plants are very sensitive to fluoride, so it's best to water them with rainwater or bottled distilled water. Fluoridated water may cause the leaf tips and edges to turn brown. Temperature and humidity. Although the plants survive a brief chill of 30 degrees Fahrenheit, these plants do not tolerate prolonged temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The plant grows best where temperatures stay in a steady range between 65 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've moved your house plant outdoors for the summer, make sure to bring it inside before the first fall frost. Indoors. Avoid locations with drafts from windows or doors during the winter. Like many tropical plants, the tea plant prefers a fairly humid environment. When growing them indoors in heated rooms with dry air, set the pots on a shallow pebble-filled dish of water to increase humidity or use a room humidifier. Fertilizer When planted outside, Feed tea plants once in the spring with a slow-release fertilizer that is well-balanced in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Spread the fertilizer evenly around the soil at least one foot away from the plant's base. Water deeply. Potted plants should be fed monthly with a water-soluble balanced fertilizer. For the amount to use, follow the product label instructions. During the fall and winter, Withhold feeding, as the plant slows its growth rate. Pruning The only essential pruning is to remove yellowed leaves as they appear. It is quite natural for old leaves to die out as the plant matures. Cut down lanky or unattractive stalks. It's safe to shear the tea plant as low as 6 inches from the top of the soil. The cuts may seem drastic but healthy new shoots will quickly grow. Propagating Tea Plant Tea plants are propagated by several methods, including layering, placing cuttings in water, division, or sowing seeds. But one of the easiest methods is rooting short stem, cane, sections. Here's how to do it. Begin by taking 1-inch cuttings from young, healthy canes using sharp pruners. Plant the cane into a pot filled with arid soil, like a combination of sand, peat moss, and perlite or vermiculite. With the cane on its side, bury it to a depth that is equal to one quarter of its diameter. Keep the soil moist and put the cutting in a warm, partially sunny spot. Roots should develop from the nodes within two to four weeks. When new green shoots appear, the cutting is ready to transplant into the garden or into a larger permanent pot. You can also propagate the plants by placing the cuttings in water. Begin by cutting a piece of healthy cane at least 5 inches long. Place it in enough water to cover, but do not submerge the cane. Change the water regularly to keep it clean and fresh. When the cane has developed a robust root system, Plant it outdoors or in a container filled with commercial potting soil or sand combined with peat moss, vermiculite, or perlite. Potting and repotting tea plant A well-draining potting soil will work best for potting your tea plant. Any material will work for the container, but it must have several drainage holes. Potted plants grow more slowly than garden specimens, so you should be able to get by with repotting only every two or three years when you see roots beginning to grow out of the drainage holes. When repotting, choose a new container that is only slightly larger than the previous one. As the plants become more mature, the growth rate slows and they need repotting less often. As these plants get large, they may be top-heavy and prone to tipping if growing on a deck or patio. Opt for a wide, heavy container to provide balance for taller plants. Overwintering If temperatures in your location fall below 50 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter, 
the plant should be potted and taken indoors or winterized. If cold snaps are possible in your region, protect plants in winter with about 6 inches of mulch covering the plant's root zone. Also, consider a frost cover or binding the leaves together to protect them from harsh wind exposure or freezing water gathering in the recesses of the plant. Whether growing indoors or outdoors, withhold feeding in the fall and winter as these plants naturally slow their growth rate during this time. Common Pests and Plant Diseases Common pests to look out for are fungus gnats, mealybugs, mites, scale insects and thrips. To prevent insect infestations, wipe the foliage regularly with a clean damp cloth. Drenching the soil with pesticides will control fungus gnats, mealybugs and scale, but spraying the foliage works best for mites. In shady or soggy conditions, the plant attracts snails and slugs. The plant is susceptible to a variety of fungal diseases, such as leaf spot, especially when growing in soggy soil and crowded conditions. Three, avoid overhead watering and provide good air circulation. Common Problems with Tea Plant Tea plant is generally a fairly trouble-free plant, but you may notice these problems, browning leaves. The most common cultural problem with tea plant is browning leaf tips. This usually occurs when conditions are too dry, especially low air humidity that is common during the winter months in temperate climates. Make sure to water regularly and either rest the pot on a pan filled with pebbles and water or use a room humidifier. Another cause for browning leaf tips and margins is too much fluoride in water. Use distilled water where this is a problem. Poor leaf color. If your tea plant loses the foliage color that was present when you purchased your plant, reverting instead to green, it may be due to insufficient sunlight. Move it to a location where it gets at least 6 hours, and preferably 8 hours, of direct sunlight each day. With indoor plants, using artificial grow lights helps restore the leaf color. So now you must have understood how to grow the plant at home. If you liked this video then please share it. Stay connected for information about other such plants. Just keep these few small things in mind, your plant will always enhance the beauty of your house and will also provide you with beneficial and pure air. This is the end of today's video, let's meet in another video to talk about the care of another plant, till then bye friends, happy gardening.